Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Reddy from Reddy's Rise. I'm back here at Crown Euro Cars in St. Petersburg, Florida, because guess what? We have another refreshed, this isn't a redesign, but refreshed for 2020. This is the Mercedes-Benz AMG GTC. So let's talk a little bit about the AMG GTC. This basically is their mid-range between the standard, if you could call any AMG GT standard, and that halo car, the AMG GTR, which remember, we were here at Crown Euro Cars with that car, a 2019 version, which I'll leave that link at the end of the video. This GTC slots right in the middle of those two other trim levels. What you're gonna find is you're gonna have increased performance over the standard trim level, and this is going to really go up against that Porsche 911 GTS, because really the AMG GT was Mercedes-Benz answer to the Porsche 911, such an iconic car. What I love about these AMG GTs, no matter which one it is, it's got those distinctive lines of the very famous Mercedes-Benz 300 SL models, the Gullwing models from the 1950s. But let's go ahead, dive into this AMG GTC and see what's different for 2020. Right off the bat, you have that beautiful look to the AMG GTC, especially in this color, this is new for 2020. All new design, redesigned headlight housing. I love what they're doing with their split level daytime running lamp, really allows it to slot in to the Mercedes-Benz lineup when you're looking at headlight design. All blacked out, full LED lighting, very sinister on the front of this car. Now, the GTC compared to the standard GT is actually wider. So you're gonna get a wider front end, large, massive, functioning air scoop. So this is going to scoop air. This has more horsepower. Like I said, on the hood, you're going to need more air to cool all that horsepower. There is on the GTC, some chrome trim, a little bit on the flat black. It looks very tasteful and you'll see how they tied that into the whole design on the AMG GT. I love this beautiful grill shape. So new for 2020 was the headlights. GTC is wider up front. You got your vertical slots with a little bit of the shiny stuff. Shiny stuff on the lower lip spoiler. These pieces are all functional. That massive Mercedes-Benz logo, so much tradition. And then the other piece of the puzzle, AMG, really getting it done on racetracks around the world for so many years, so many victories. Going up onto the hood, I love how long the hoods are. It's a front engine car. They tend to say it's a front mid engine because the front of the car where the axles are, the engine sits behind that. So we'll call it a front mid engine, but I really like the nice subtle body lines, very clean on the top portion near the back, you have functional heat extractors. So that's gonna help drag that power robbing heat from out from underneath the hood. Going into the fenders, just love the little touches, the AMG logo in the headlight housing. When we get to the fender, beautiful setup. So you're looking at wheels that are wrapped in those Pilot, Michelin Pilot Super Sport tires. So these don't have the Pilot Cup 2s. So you're gonna get good grip, but you're gonna get some decent mileage out of these as well. Really like what's going on here. You have this machined aluminum finish. This is up front, a 19 inch wheel, 265 on the width, 35 series on the sidewall. Check out these calipers. These are humongous. They're gonna allow this Mercedes-Benz to stop time, believe it or not. Mercedes-Benz actually certified that this car could stop time because of this caliper and rotor setup. The rotors, they look like Frisbees that I used to throw around at the playground when I was a kid. Two piece, which is gonna cut down on heat, get that heat out of there, and also fully ventilated, slotted, and cross-drilled. That's gonna allow a nice firm pedal because remember, the whole purpose of this car, it's gonna give you that little bit more performance, but you not only want the performance underneath the hood, you wanna be able to slow down. When you're doing a track day, autocross event, you want a nice firm pedal every single time. There's nothing more unsettling than when the pedal goes to the floorboard and you're not stopping. Now, as we continue down the side, the fenders, you have that V8 twin turbo, bi-turbo, two nice small snails, over 500 horsepower, underneath the hood, like the uh, venting on the side. And then to tie in the front, you have, believe it or not, I don't see this on many cars. It's a side sill extension, but it's in that chrome finish. I don't know if I'm loving the GTC way of doing things. 
If this is to go up against the GTS, the Porsche 911 GTS, I would like to see this be like carbon fiber, but then that's gonna put it near the GTR, but I don't know, it, it works. It's just not, like my grandmother used to say, it's not my cup of tea. Going down, you have a full glass roof. That's a very nice touch, especially when you're sitting on the inside. You got your uh, very unique design, a turn single built right in. And then as we work our way back, there's more of the shiny chrome stuff, beautiful rear fenders. Now on the GTC, you see these wheels, different than what, up, what, up, uh, what is up front. They're actually 12 inches wide, still wrapped in that beautiful, um, very sticky, super sport, but not too sticky. That's the great thing. You're gonna get good drivability, but you're also gonna get some stick. These are 305s on the width. So big difference from what we're dealing with up front. If you ever wonder, well, why do manufacturers do that? This is rear wheel drive. We want the traction to get to the ground, the grip, but we also want quicker steering. If you have a little bit skinnier tire up front, you're gonna get quicker steering, better feedback than big old steamrollers on the front. Outback, nice and sleek and very slender. This area here is gonna pop up and turn into a nice uh, spoiler, downforce producing spoiler, AMG logo, all new for 2020. So headlight and taillight design is all new for 2020. You got the LED uh, lights in there. As we come down, I like the flat black and I like the chrome tips on this AMG exhaust. Great design, quad exhaust, looks amazing. You have this open rear section in the middle and then as we drop down low look where they put the reverse light really slim just a very clean setup and just man i look at this thing and i'm just like wow it really just finishes off on a high note that rear diffuser with a little bit more uh chrome trim my only zonk what is going on here amg this is not functional at all i guess you could like file your nails on it so non-functional vents i wish they would have made them functional or done something different than a fake vent. But let's, let's see what's underneath the hood. I promise you there's nothing fake underneath that hood. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, we got that long hood popped on this AMG GTC. When you go see, you're getting extra power. And what I love is you can see those two turbochargers right there at that front part of the engine. What's interesting is that when you look at the engine, you'll see you have your fenders right here. That's where your wheel and tire assemblies are. Look how far back to the firewall they put that V8. So that V8 is a four liter twin turbo, that bi-turbo setup, 550 horsepower. So standard AMG GT, you're looking at around 469. This has 550 horsepower, 502 pound-feet of torque. It weighs in around 3,748 pounds. It's all mated through a seven-speed DCT transmission. If you're wondering about MPGs, you're looking 15 in the city, 21 on the highway, zero to 60 in 3.5 seconds, quarter mile in 11.5, and she's four clicks under 200 miles per hour. Now, what did they do to get this performance is they wound up increasing the boost. 14 pounds is standard, 18.1 pounds of boost is what you get with this GTC. You have larger turbos, a freer flowing exhaust, larger intercoolers. This is all the recipe. If you're a horsepower chef, this is the recipe that you do to actually get more power. What's also awesome that I love, besides seeing the AMG, is that you have this nice plaque here. It tells you who handcrafted this engine. And here's a little fun fact for you. The gentlemen and women that build those engines by hand over in Germany, they have master's degrees, guys, in engineering. They don't just take any Joe Blow who changes oil and says, here, build an AMG engine. They have master degrees, they have to do an apprenticeship, and it's all done by hand. But let's go ahead and really see the success of their work. Let's fire up this GTC and see what it sounds like. All right, guys, we're inside the 2020 Mercedes-Benz, that AMG GTC. Now, I know you're probably saying, well, Joe, I'm really liking this car. How much is it? This one, MSRPs, remember, it's in the sweet spot, $156,000. Now, if you're saying, well, Joe, what sweet spot are you talking about? That doesn't sound sweet to me, it sounds expensive. The AMG GTR, which the link is at the end of this video, goes for over $200,000. So that kind of puts it in perspective a little bit. Let's see what you get. 
on the door panels. I like what's going on. I'm just not a big fan of the color. I don't like the beige look there going on, but it does break up the black material. You have the black leather across the top, the beige on the armrest, some br uh, brushed aluminum trim along the armrest and near the uh, switch gear for your windows and whatnot. Uh, it is clean, it is tasteful. I just know that you're gonna have to spend some time cleaning because it it's gonna get fingerprints. You do have, really here's where it shows you the difference in the color, the darker material up here, the lighter beige here. I do like the beige contrast stitching, very classy. Great AC vents. I keep saying this over and over again. Mercedes-Benz does a hell of a job with their AC vents. I love the design. And then check out that over 12 inch uh, horizontal infotainment screen. Obviously it's showing our navigation. We're right there in St. Pete, Florida, but guess what? There's different ways. It's not a touch screen, but there's different ways to go to different settings, your navigation, your radio, your media, all that good stuff. Also, I'm gonna have Tom keep the camera there because there's a switch that I'll show you once you get to the center console area, we could go into our different drive modes. Sport Plus, Sport, Comfort, Individual, where you could individually adjust everything. Slippery, Slippery when wet, Bon Jovi, thank you Bon Jovi. But um, that's gonna change all the parameters, all the operating characteristics of the engine, the suspension, the transmission, the whole shabam. I love the slim and trim AC controls. Very, very clean. Open this lid up, here's our key fob. Now I am gonna zonk the key because it is the older design that Mercedes-Benz has been using. For 2020, they could have gave us a new key fob, which would have been nice. Another thing that I'm zonking, because it doesn't make sense to me, is you have your 12 volt, which is also a cigarette lighter, a USB, but then you have your cup holders here. Well, if you have a drink that's cold and it's sweating, it's gonna get all water in here. Do you really want water and electricity together? I don't know, I'm not Mercedes. Close the lid up, here's that pad to adjust everything on the infotainment system because it's not a touch screen, and then you have a plethora of these cool buttons that when you push them, they actually change within the plastic area. So we have open exhaust, exhaust is closed. This is to raise the spoiler, which I'll show you that in a second, and then you have your automatic start stop button over here, shut traction control off, suspension settings, and then this is that switch I was using to go through the different drive modes. This little guy right here, this is gonna be controlling that seven speed DCT. This is all new for 2020, this is all new. Love the AMG Crest on the armrest. It is hard, but I'm not gonna complain in this car too much. Open this up, you have felt lining. You can put uh, you know, your diamond rings and your uh, tennis bracelet in here, USB. You got uh, 12 volt, and then these seats are a thing of racing beauty. Brushed aluminum, love the leather, AMG logo. They are ventilated and heated, and they have some of the best bolstering that does not squeeze you. These you can live with every single day. Of course, they're full power assist. There's that glass roof I was telling you about, which you can just close the shade. It's all manual, I kind of like that. Heated, ventilated seat controls all up here, sort of like a fighter cockpit or a, uh, an airplane cockpit. You have your uh, auto dimming mirror and then check out the strut tower brace. This has a strut tower brace for the rear of the car. So you got your rear suspension there. That's gonna stiffen up the rear. The front's been stiffened up. That's for the GTC. But why don't you come over the business end? I wanna show you behind the wheel of this AMG. All right guys, business end time. Before you come on in, let me show you that uh, spoiler that you could actually adjust. So by pressing that button, there's actually different ways to set it, and then you could bring it right back down. So you could drive around your parking lot and show everybody that, hey, you have downforce off the back of your AMG GTC, but it does technically pop up at speed to provide, provide that downforce. Six feet tall, plenty of headroom, steering wheel. This is a thing of Formula One beauty. I feel like Lewis Hamilton. Love the leather. You got top dead center marked. This brushed aluminum look is so sexy. Look at this, you get shut off your traction control right here, which is great. You got your uh, cameras that you, could, that you could get to easily right here on the steering wheel. And then this little knob right here is gonna go through those different settings that I showed you, race, sport plus, sport. Now remember, with the AMG GTC, you have that race option, and the AMG T, you, uh, you do not. Behind the steering wheel, you have another beautiful TFT display, so clear over 12 inches, shows everything really nicely done, and you can get into all your different modes there, that tachometer smack dab in the center with the speedometer and whatnot, but really, really great how it shows off 
all of that information all at a quick glance which is great you don't have to be searching all over the place for it but let's go ahead check out the cargo area and see how usable this amg gtc is all right guys one of the things that i love about the amg gt is that guess what if you need to convince your loved one at home that you deserve one of these and they're saying what are you going to use it for this is the best part you could go and get groceries with your amg gtc look at all this space i'll go ahead and get this piece of luggage out but you have tons of room back here even put stuff on top by that strut tower brace so tell your loved one listen i'll do the groceries every single week if i could go get an amg gtc and if she says he or she says well who told you that tell them joe rady from rady's ride says it's okay it's okay to go get your amg gtc but let's get to the best part you're ready i'm ready let's take this for a spin all right guys we left crown euro cars we're in the 2020 amg gtc this one slots in right below the amg gtr one thing i've noticed right away car is very smooth great v8 sound that you know and you love is coming into this cabin and i love it especially when you're doing the downshifts using those paddles behind the wheel sounds glorious the snaps the pops the crackles all you need is a cereal bowl and you're you're eating it up i'm eating it up right now visibility out the front you know you would think that aircraft carrier length of a hood is really gonna inhibit you which remember inhibit means block it doesn't it actually gives you as this kia optima just pulls out um it gives you great visibility out the front of the amg really really nice great vantage point i feel and the mirrors work really great as well that back window tons of usable space to see and that's one thing is you want to be able to see what you're doing because you know that's it's all about the driving experience is being able to control the car and really hit your marks spot on i'm in second gear get on it those shifts so lightning fast listen to this you get the pops and the crackles coming out the back and with the smaller turbos it really builds the boost very very quickly you're not waiting for that boost to come around and then it hits like a ton of bricks it's very smooth very linear and that's what you want because that's going to help you get the traction down to the ground the brakes like i said you might as well pour elmer's glue all over those rotors because that's the only other way they're going to stop as good talking about the brakes i want to talk about a little acceleration here i got it in first gear i'm gonna go ahead and accelerate dead stop on throttle lightning fast yeah that's what i'm talking about really nice tip it in great feel smooth and the feedback you're getting you feel like you're so connected to this car really really nice wow 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 this thing is a german cruise missile it really is unbelievable we need to do that again that's all i gotta say but golly the power is so wonderful in this thing and the grip the grip that you're getting is really incredible as well and that's going to make you feel good and that's what's going to allow you to turn a faster lap but i'm telling you right now if you're on the fence do you get a gtc instead of the amg gt spend the extra money get the gtc here we go stopping time right now look at that we just stopped time it's over 
but just so smooth. sensation what this car can do it makes you feel like Mario Andretti you feel like you're Lewis Hamilton in this car and you can see this is where they took all the engineering all the race wins all the championships and really have created something special with this AMG GTC Wow all right guys one more time for you here we go on throttle yes Nice downshift, she turns in good. Once you're good, you're good. Here we go. On brakes. Nice downshift, look at this. She holds a line like you are freaking Laffy Taffy. Love this car. It's just a different experience. It's like when you're comparing this to a mid-engine car to you know, a 911 with the engine all the way past the rear axle, that front engine experience is just so unique and so different. It, it allows you to have sensations that when you get it right, it feels so magical. It really, really does. The grip, and remember, we're not on those racetrack ready Cup 2 tires. These are the Super Sports, which they, I've had them on my Focus RS. They're great tires. They also have some durability because those Cup 2 tires, if you're driving them on the regular streets, they are not going to last very long at all. But I'm telling you, the brakes, great feedback. They clamp down very nicely on the rotors. They don't pulse it to nothing. It feels unbelievable. I can't stop. That's the, that's the problem. Seven speed DCT does the magic, it really does. And then boom, we stop at the stop sign on a dime. Tom, give everybody out change, please. Wow. You guys deserve one more run through. We 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 all deserve it here on Radies Rides. Here we go. This is for you. Nice on the downshifts. Trip it in. Very nice. your dog your cat that was one hell of a ride i'm so glad to share this experience this journey and definitely this amg gtc with you guys we're gonna get back to crown i'll see you in a few seconds all right guys it's been a magical masterful mercedes-benz kind of day here at crown euro cars i definitely gotta thank bianca and the rest of the crew for getting us access not only to 2020 models but to an amg gtc the big question, is this a great competitor to the 911, the 911 GTS, and other high performance cars out there, including some supercars? I think you can answer that question for yourself. If you wanna keep seeing cars like this, and I'm sure you do, leave a comment in that comment section. If you are new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. Make sure to click the link in the description, get yourself some Radies Rise merch, Every bit helps. We got the new Zonk shirt, we got new polo shirts, and we gotta give it up to Big Guns McGee, Tom Moshner, working the camera in the hot Florida sun. It's September, it's fall, but it doesn't feel like it, and he's definitely not sweating like it's fall. So thank you, Tom, for all your hard work, and just like always, I'll see you on the next ride.